Hey what's going on guys, it is Jago here and I'm back again with another GTA Online modding video. In today's video I'm going to be going over why I think Impulse is the best mod menu and as well as why it's my go-to mod menu. If you like this kind of GTA Online modded content, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, join Discord for more. Um, I have right now in the background just me trolling some people. There's some weird lighting issues as well. Um, I don't know really why I did that when I was starting to spectate players, but it was doing that for some reason. And I also have another video that I posted yesterday of uh, some trolling funny moments with Zyrian. So if you want to check that out as well, I highly suggest you check it out. It's a very funny video, and I think you guys will definitely enjoy it. So reason number one would have to be the recovery options and why I think the recovery options are really good is because you can literally add a million dollars whenever you want and you can, you know, click that a few times, even add money to your own bank account and add billions upon billions of dollars and it's really easy and simple. I know there's like some other options like with Disturbed for example. For example, they have a really cool recovery option. It's that you can go like up to a casino slot machine and win it guaranteed automatically and get yourself like 2.5 million dollars or something like that i think that's a really cool recovery option but then again the time it takes to actually get in the animation and all that you can just you might as well easily just add a million dollars at a time or add as much money as you want with impulse you can just spam it if you want for a couple minutes or so and get like hundreds of millions of dollars really fast i have a hundred million dollar spending spree that i'm still currently doing part four will probably come out sometime next week and you know that's been a really fun series that i've been doing on the channel coming in at number two of why my impulse is my favorite mod menu i would say is the ped slash traffic options now you can do some really funny shit and like send send them towards you make them jump launch them launch them away it's pretty fun and pretty useful if you do some rockstar editor stuff which i do sometimes and get like thumbnails and stuff if you do content creation like me or someone else and you like to do rockstar edits uh, i highly advise you get this mod menu because you can definitely make peds and traffic do your sort of own thing and you know make some really uh, cool videos out of it as well I know I don't really post rocks or editor videos but I use it for thumbnails and stuff like that like I've already said and you know it just makes it a little bit easier and has gives me a little bit more options to use uh, for thumbnails and stuff like that so yeah it's uh, pretty useful for that Number three would have to be the weapon options. Now, there's not a ton of weapon options, but the ones that they already have are really fun and really useful. One thing that comes to mind is the nuke sticky bomb. It is, it's just a sticky bomb, but it like makes a way more bigger explosion. It's freaking amazing. It's uh, really fun to use. I use that um, when I make the peds come towards me. There's a pet options where they can just run towards you and then I just blow them all up. I think it's kind of funny watching them all like float away and just get blown back and stuff like that. It's kind of funny and you can also do it with uh, trolling as well. You can just throw some nuke sticky bombs down, blow everyone up to high hell. They're just like, whoa, whoa, what was that? It was like, no, there was such a huge explosion and stuff like that. It's uh, It's been really fun with the weapon options as well. You can do rapid fire, you know, one shot kills, kind of the normal mind menu kind of stuff, but obviously most menus don't have a ton of weapon options and impulse has the you know the really good essential ones like pickup gun the gravity gun one thing i wish was in it that it's still missing is the rope gun or like the grappling hook gun i i would say but that's one of my favorite things to do with some of these mod menus the menu and uh zeus mod menu have the rope gun and it's the only reason why i sometimes use zeus still is because of the rope gun i think it's really fun to use especially with like cops chasing after you or some heads or whatever but yeah it's pretty fun to use those kind of weapon options as well so overall impulses weapon options are really good except for obviously it's missing the rope gun but hopefully one day they'll add it Number four would have to be protections. Now, of course, you guys probably or may or may not have seen my trolling video yesterday. And there were some times when I think Zyrian, he didn't have all of his protections on. And he kept getting pop-ups of, oh, he was reported this and reported that. And fortunately for me, I had all mine on and I was perfectly safe. Now, he turned his on and he's fine. He's not reported or uh, banned or anything. But at the time, he forgot to do it and he kept getting those pop-ups that, oh, you know, these you need to turn on these protections and stuff like that. But luckily, my protections were on the entire time and I was able to, you know, pretty much do whatever I want at my own leisure for, uh, you know, of course, content creation and, you know, just to be funny. And, you know, the protections can actually really protect you and really save you from definitely some douchebag modders. Kind of like I was playing like myself yesterday when I was doing the trolling videos. 
right now, I mean, I'm being a complete douchebag, but you know, if this guy had an impulse mod menu, I, he'd be completely protected. He'd be either have god mode or, you know, he could teleport somewhere else or, you know, just kick me out of the lobby or something like that. But the protections can really protect you and pretty much save your ass if you're doing a resupply or doing some sort of sell mission or anything like that. If you're still a grinder in GTA, I would highly suggest you can, like get one of these. Maybe you don't use it for recovery or modding or something like that, but you can use the god mode and play around with it sometimes. Maybe you don't want to cheat for money or RP. Maybe you still want that to be kind of your thing, your own grind, but definitely the protections can protect you in any sort of online lobby and are really, really useful for that kind of stuff like that. Number five on why Impulse is my favorite mod menu would have to be the trolling. Now, obviously, um, it's been a trend on the channel very, very recently that I really like trolling, and the trolling options are absolutely incredible for this. One day, I'm thinking about going through all the trolling options um, as one big video. Maybe it wouldn't be that big, but going through all the trolling options and what you can, everything you can possibly do to someone, even if it's not. Um, so-called griefing maybe even helpful options or peaceful options as well uh but yeah the trolling options are absolutely amazing there's a ton of fun i mean <laughs> unfortunately for these people i just keep killing them over and over again and it's a uh, it's a real fun time especially for a content creator like me obviously if you were the be the one being the victim i understand that sucks and you can't really do anything about it but honestly for content creation it's a whole lot of fun and if you're a content creator like myself i highly suggest you get the impulse mod menu for trolling it is an absolute blast means iron had a ton of fun with it yesterday's video and uh yeah that's pretty much all i have to say about the impulse mod menu uh the trolling options the recovery options the weapon options pet and traffic and protections are absolutely amazing on this mod menu i know there are some other mod menus with some of these good options but overall impulse has it all and can really satisfy your mod menu needs I know I sound like a salesman for Impulse, but I'm really not. I'm not sponsored or anything. I really like the menu, and I highly suggest if you want to start modding on GTA Online or even GTA Single Player, you should highly, high, I highly suggest you get Impulse VIP mod menu. It's around 60 bucks. I know it's kind of expensive, but it's better off than getting banned and needing to buy it over and over and over and over again, GTA 5, you know. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you like this kind of content and you want to see more, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn to post notifications notifications and yeah that's all i gotta say for you guys today and i'll probably most likely see you guys in the next one and press one if you watch the whole video peace I wrote this song for the moment that I'm on When I won't have to say the words Cause my fans just sing along Kinda crazy, we work hard just to be lazy I ate miles